Welcome to Korea Gold Olga. Who is in the news today? First up is Kifi D, the man who was arrested for the alleged crime of Tupac Shakur has pleaded not guilty at his arraignment in court. According to reports, he showed up on November the 2nd in court with a public defender right by his side. He is using a public defender because he claims he is not able to afford a lawyer. So Ross Goodman, a defense attorney, was picking out for Keefe D, and everyone assumed that he would be defending him. And he got out and said, no, he would not be representing Keefe D. And you only have to wonder, why would he come out as a spokesperson for Keefe D if he had no intentions of representing him? Because they're not connected any, in any way. They're not kin to each other. They're not family. So why would he want to come out as a spokesperson if he didn't have some type of relationship with him? Could be he was thinking of representing him and it went sour. And now he has pulled back. And now he put out the statement that he will not be representing him. That makes more sense to me. I'm thinking that perhaps they could not come to an agreement in terms of how much he would be paid because Goodman made this announcement right after the, the arraignment. It was reported that Goodman and Keefe D's relationship ended due to the controversial client, namely Keefe D, inability to meet the terms of his agreement. So what was the agreement? The only, the only thing that comes to mind is money. Lawyers want to be paid. This is a high-profile case. Keefe D did not have the money, in my opinion, to pay this lawyer. And therefore, the relationship in terms of client and attorney is not going to happen. It's also been reported that the state prosecutors will not be seeking the death penalty. I guess they figure at his age, he doesn't have long to live. He is a little over 60. And if he serves 20 years in prison, he'll be 80. So they will not be seeking the death penalty in this case. So 27 years ago, Tupac was gunned down in a California drive-by shooting. He died on September the 13th at the age of 25. The cold case opened up into Tupac's murder after Kifi D has been voicing his involvement for many years and now he has been arrested. A lot of people are saying why did it take law enforcement so long to arrest him when he was saying that he was involved for about 10 years now. He's been very vocal about providing the gun to Anderson, his nephew, who was responsible for Tupac's demise. Tupac, who was shot four times, succumbed to his injuries. Keefe D was charged with affiliation with a criminal gang and murder with a deadly weapon. So on November the 2nd, he stood before the judge and pleaded Not guilty to the charges. But here is his guilty plea footage in the courtroom. Sir, are you familiar with the one charge that you're facing? Do you understand that charge? As to that charge, have you pleaded guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Sir, you have the right to have a jury trial set within 60 days. Would you like to invoke or waive that right? Wait. Okay. So as the investigation proceeds, we're going to see the outcome in the courtroom, what happens to Keefe D. So the next person up on the morning brew is Krishan Rock. As you guys know, Krishan Rock has been in the news for a whole lot of different things. Recently, she's been on Jason Lee's show and revealed that she wants 12 children. And if she's pregnant for Blueface, he's just a sperm donor. Let's take a listen. When was the last time you guys had sex? That text message was Wednesday. What's today? It's Wednesday. Today is. So, third. So, because, I mean, like 2 a.m. And, like, so, because we hung out Wednesday, but it went into Thursday. And we're filming this on a Monday. So, that was, yeah, the Thursday just passed. Which was after their interview here. That was after? Yes. You want to show the dates? I'm not lying, guys. No, I saw what? I'm being you. honest. I what? The, Jason Lee, what do you want? The tea? <laughs> or lies, baby? I'm just trying With to... With the phone? I'm just trying to get 
trying to catch my breath. Catch were, your breath, yo, because I, I need some ass too. Wait, because they were Give just... Give me some art. So they were just here. So, like, your rela- So what is the relationship with... And you guys didn't use a condom. Huh? You guys didn't use a condom. No. And you said he... Damn. Now, why you got me... Because you said it. Because you asked it. <laughs> and so... What? I'm going to look away. I don't want to show my face for this. Go ahead. And so what if you're pregnant again? Oh, he's just a sperm donor. I don't want to, I don't just want babies. I want 12 kids. I want to fill my big ass house up. I got nothing to do with him, yo. But if you have, if you do get pregnant, you would, you would keep the baby. Damn, this is a real, like, damn, I was not ready for this. Um, you said that last time. <laughs> Now, we don't know which statement that Krishan Rock is making, which one is true, because she did say one down, one on the way, and 10 more to go. She wants 12 children like her mother. However, she did say that she might be pregnant, but so far, she's not showing any signs, and she did not mention it again. So maybe it was a false positive reading. And I did find a video clip where she admitted to not inviting Blueface at the birth of the child. So when she said that he didn't show up for the birth, it's, it's really sending a mixed message because she did not invite him. When she went into labor, I guess there's no way that he could have known unless she mentioned it to him. Now that she's got his baby, she's got to think for not only herself, but for her son to make better choices. And she said she slipped up one time by having intercourse with him. And she was drunk, she said. And that will not happen again. So I guess the other children, the 11 that she wants to have to make her little army of 12 is going to have to come from some other person. Next up is Kenya Moore and Fedra Parks. Many years ago, Fedra Parks had to put Kenny Moore in check, honey. This was back in 2014, according to Black Atlanta Star, because she was talking about her and Apollo. And now that she's on another reality show, she was reflecting on that iconic moment. And at the time of the reading, Kenya was trying to have a kid. Fedra says that it was bottled up anger and aggression that led her to speak that way towards Kenya. So let's listen to this throwback audio of Kenya being read from the Ruta to the Tuta on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion hosted by Andy Cohen. Allison from San Francisco says, do you realize how clear it is that you initiate the conversations with Apollo? You were the only woman to show up for cigars and manage to get him alone. She needs a storyline, so she keeps re-bringing it up. This happened in 2012. It's 2014 now, and she's still trying to use it because she has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around, running around, talking about my husband and my the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try to find a donor, honey, you don't know if your baby dad will be an axe murderer or a child molester, because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza, so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now, check that. So it was recently brought up... And Phaedra said she was so frustrated that it was just bottled up in her and she just exploded on the set and put Kenya in her place because she was too much up under her husband or at least trying to get next to him. Guys, don't forget to hit the like bell, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Next in the news is Missy Elliott. She has achieved a milestone in her career. She has been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. According to The Shade Room, Missy had a candid interview with Robin Roberts of ABC News. As she reflects on being the first female rapper to ever to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Missy says words cannot describe how honored she is to receive the recognition. She added that the 
reality hasn't clicked yet as a rock and roll hall of fame induction seems so far out of reach as a hip-hop artist after acknowledging that she's been inducted as a rock and roll's first female artist during the 50th anniversary of hip-hop missy remarked no matter what people say the hip-hop world is something special and unique so there's a leak audio of Jermaine Dupri's teen daughter asking him a question about him and her mother. And she was really letting him know why her mother left him. But she said she really couldn't tell him because she there are certain things you don't say on the internet. So it looks like if this little child was listening to the adult conversations. So she seems to know the tea on the relationship with the mom and her dad. And that's why certain things you should not be talking in front of the kids about. It looks like if she's the wrong 11. What? Oh, I just said, like, how did you feel when my mama left you? Like, how did you feel? Like, what you make you think your mama left me? Because you're old. What? You're old. <laughs> you're old. You think your mama left me? Yes. Because I'm old? No, that's not actually why. Because you just... Other things that aren't supposed to be said on the internet. Oh, yeah, so you think that's... You think your mother left me? This child is wise enough to know. Not to mention certain things because she's on the internet. It's also been reported that Janet and Domaine Dupree are supposed to be getting back together. But it was quite funny when his daughter said, because you're old, Jermaine is 51 years old. One viewer commented and said, in her mama, the one he cheated on with Janet, and now he is supposed to be going back to Janet. A lot of times, adults recycle relationships. We meet somebody, we plan to have a family, we plan to live together, married, etc. It doesn't work out, you separate. You get married to somebody else, have kids. That does not work out. You end up going back with the original person. So according to an A and E documentary, Janet did want it to marry Jermaine, but found out that he cheated on her and that broke up the relationship. Janet, who is 57 years old, dated Jermaine for seven years and they broke up back in 2009 according to Atlanta Black Star. It was revealed many years after Usher sang his song The Chick on the Side. She says she's got one on the way. Everyone thought Usher was talking about Chili but in fact Usher was really talking about Jermaine Dupree and Janet Jackson's relationship. This is all according to the Atlanta Black Star newspaper. Jermaine Dupree and Jones, the child's mother, had a short-lived encounter back in 2009 when she became pregnant. She gave birth to Jalen in September 2000. Dupree also have an adult daughter, Shania, from a past relationship back in the late 1990s with his ex, Pam Sweat. So in October of this year, Janet and Dupree was hanging out with Nelly and Ashanti. And a lot of people are saying that they have rekindled their romance after seeing them looking very lovey-dovey. Jackson remains Dupree's most high-profile relationship. 2012, she when she married the wealthy made headlines businessman with Sam Elmana, with whom she welcomed a son with back in 2017. His name is Issa Elmana. So viewers are making all kinds of comments and speculations. Another viewer said, oh, I see. She saw the video with her dad and Janet, and now she's asking the questions that her mother wants to ask. And who knows, maybe her mother put her up to it. If Janet and Domaine Dupree get married, she will not be a stranger to marriage because she was married three times already. Her first husband was R&B singer James DeBage. Her second was dancer and songwriter Renee Elizondo Jr. And her third marriage was to Wassam. The London authorities confirm ongoing probe into 
allegations of physical assault involving Jonathan Major. He's facing multiple criminal charges, including aggravated harassment stemming from an incident last March involving his now ex-girlfriend. According to page six, the district attorney's office submitted a filing containing previous unreported evidence. The 115-page report revealed efforts to obtain a copy of a London Metropolitan Police report regarding allegations of physical assault at a London area address back in September 2022. According to page six, last week, his request to dismiss the case was denied. Additionally, Starlight Pictures have also pushed back the release date of Magazine Dreams. The film stars Majors as a violent bodybuilder with violent fantasies. He pleaded not guilty. He faces four charges against him, including a misdemeanor, harassment, and assault charge. If convicted, he could spend up to a year in jail. Guys, as you leave the page, don't forget to hit the like bell. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so at this time. And turn on your notification bell for any videos I may drop in the future. Thank you for watching.